Hello and peace be with you. My name is Father Jim Greenfield and I'm the Provincial of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. I represent about 170 priests, brothers, and seminarians who comprise the Wilmington, Philadelphia province. We minister and work on the East Coast between Boston and Florida in high schools, colleges, campus ministry settings, grade schools. We have parishes. We have men who work in rehab centers. It's a privilege for us to work in the church. I'd like to share three points with you that affect us as we deal with the issue of childhood sexual abuse in our church today and most importantly in my community, the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. I have some notes that I have with me so that I can make sure that I cover all of the bases that I would like to with you today. There are three points. The first one is to talk with you about the recent settlement I authorized. Second, to let you know some things that we Oblates of St. Francis de Sales are doing as we respond to these issues of child sexual abuse. And third and finally, to let you know what we're doing in the present and as we move into the future to make sure that these issues never happen again. First, I authorized a settlement recently of all civil lawsuits that we were facing in the city of Wilmington, Newcastle County, the state of Delaware. A settlement is a legal action which brings to conclusion a civil suit. Settlements are done with the help of lawyers and most importantly for us and thankfully with the help of insurance carriers. A settlement, as I said, is a legal process and yet it is not necessarily the end of the story. There is more work to be done. My second point then is what is that work that needs to be done and how are we oblates responding? Our primary way of being in the world is as ministers, and our mission is healing and reconciliation. I have learned from listening to the stories of those who have come to me sharing that they've been abused by an oblate, that they are in real pain. In fact, one story is one story too many as I listen. Pain is real, the story is real, and our response is equally as real. As I mentioned, settlement happens with lawyers and insurance companies, but healing happens with true, authentic conversations where I and my oblate brothers listen to those who have a grievance against us. I'd like to say I am sorry in the name of all of us oblates for anything that any oblate has done. Many of these issues that are brought to me have happened decades ago in the past. For those mistakes, I apologize. And I'd also like to be clear that we are aware that you need trust to be built up again. And we oblates want to do that with you. Third and finally, what are we doing in the present, especially as we move to the future, to make sure these issues of child sexual abuse are handled and that they do not affect the way we are in the world today? We are in compliance with many standards from an independent child protection agency known as Presidium. Presidium helps us and many other religious communities stay in compliance with industry standards. We screen our new candidates rigorously. There's ongoing education of present Oblates of St. Francis de Sales and all of us in my province know reporting procedures for any issue of child sexual abuse. I can assure you that any priest, brother, or seminarian in my province of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales and is a member in good standing has an opportunity to go through all of these processes and I can assure anyone that he is a man of impeccable integrity. Certainly there are men whom I have removed from ministry who will never ever again serve in a ministerial setting. It is that conviction that I have to make sure that anyone who is working with anyone anywhere is a man who knows how to bring the gospel of peace and justice and healing. And so in conclusion, again, I apologize for anything that any oblate has ever done to violate or vitiate the trust 
that is so important in any relationship, most importantly ministry. And I say to all of our friends and our friends-to-be and our supporters that we look forward to your ongoing support into the future so that we, Abbas of St. Francis de Sales, continue to be who we are and to be that well. That's the primary advice that St. Francis de Sales gives to anyone who wants to follow Christ. And we hope with you we can do that well.